A Love Without End. I'm going to read to you the song lyrics that are on the top of page um, 216. And he said, Let me tell you a secret about a father's love. A secret that my daddy said was just between us. He said, Daddies don't just love their children every now and then. It's a love without end. Amen. It's a love without end. Amen. Nothing like some good old country song lyrics from the 90s. I'm going to go on to read you the first paragraph on that page. I'm unloading the dishwasher, refilling my teacup, folding the laundry of whites and placing them back in the drawers of the soon-to-be wearers. As I enter the oldest son's room, I notice the blankets on his bed could be straightened. There was a time when I believed this was not holy work, let alone a divine moment. How could it be? I pull up the deep navy blue comforter and I realize holy and divine moments have been missed by me for years. And I make a vow to my maker to be more aware to know that there are more amazing moments in which to partake. Really, it's not about leaving and coming into them. Rather, it's residing in them constantly. What are some divine moments that you've noticed so far today? And what does being aware mean to you? I'm now more aware of the writing that was actually taking place even when I wasn't sitting at the laptop. You see, it wasn't about getting all the words into the book, but rather acknowledging that God was putting all the words into me, into my mind, but most importantly, into my heart. You see, for my faith, it's not in myself. It needs to reside in him, his presence and promise, because he fulfills love, is it exposure to something that gets us used to it? Can we become unaware once we've been made aware? And how do we keep from becoming unaware? You be aware. Prevention is in the be. Being aware. Being in relationship. Being loved. Being with him. You see, I'm, I'm now aware of how love invested in me and how love waited for me and with me to become aware, to know that love was actually there and that love knew me and love had perfect timing. Remain in love, the safety of love to trust God and not my fear and doubts because my emotions are temporary, but God and his love for me are eternal. Have you heard it said, abide in Jesus? What does it mean to abide? This really isn't a word that we tend to use in our everyday vocabulary. What is abiding and am I doing it? Abide is a verb that means to remain. To abide in Jesus means to remain in Jesus, to live every breath of every day in him and with him, aware of him in relationship. As I remain in him, I've come to learn that I lack nothing, that I have no unmet need, unmet need, excuse me, that there's no ache, no void, because when I'm remaining in him and in relationship, there is contentment and peace and joy. I am fulfilled in love. Scripture on um, page 218, there's two of them that I share with you. But you, dear friends, build yourselves up in your most holy faith and pray in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourselves in God's love as you wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring you in eternal life. And the next one that's found in John 15, 9. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. This is Jesus speaking to us. Now, remain in my love. 
Remain in him. Remain in love. To remain there is our original design. It's what God intended for us. You see, remaining in love, it heals us. It repairs us. It restores us. Transforms us. It brings us closer to God. You see, that is heaven on earth. To live in recognition of God's presence, provision, and protection. Lord, may we live in the realm of needing you. Needing love. Lord, may we realize that your love is without end. And may we desire to live there. Amen.